So another really cool feature of Oloco is the effects section. These effects are going to help you turn your signal, whether it's recorded or whether you're doing it live, it's going to help your signal be a little more interesting. It can also smooth it out. Um, if you're recording something and say for example you don't have any reverb on it or a compressor or an equalizer, your signal might be a little muddy, there might be a little more information than you want, or certain parts might be too quiet or it might sound too dry. So these different effects are going to help you make your recordings and live performances more interesting. First we have our equalizer. If you don't know how an equalizer works, it kind of affects the amplitude of certain frequencies or it affects the levels of certain frequencies. For example, if you record something and it's sounding a little dull, say my microphone was, I don't know, too far away from my mouth and it was, you know, like you can't really hear the highs very well, you could select this brightness setting and that would excite the higher frequencies. It would um, make it less dull perhaps. There's also a few other settings like the telephone which is a great effect. It makes it sound like you're on the telephone by doing a narrow band that's a little higher. So that can be pretty fun. It can be a useful tool to make your recording sound better or it can just be like a fun effect to throw on it to get that telephone effect. Next we have our compressor and the way compression works is essentially it's there to smooth out your dynamics. Like if I record something and once again there's mic problems or something and, and a certain part is too quiet, like I'm singing, singing, singing and it moves away and it gets a little quieter, you know, that's not going to translate too well with our finished product, with our recording. So I can slap a compressor on there and that compressor is going to take my loudest signal and my quietest signal and it's going to move them closer together to smooth out the dynamics and make it kind of get rid of that quiet part. You know, it's going to sound like it's all the same level. We have multiple um, settings within this compressor, but they're all pretty subtle, but they're all very effective at smoothing out that signal. Finally, we have the reverb. Now, reverb's a very common effect. It, the point of it is to kind of simulate a space. It, it makes your voice or whatever you're recording reflect in a way that imitates or simulates a certain space that you're in. For example, um, there's a really cool stereo one called Stereo Width. I could put myself in a large hall, in a cathedral, or a long and narrow room. It depends on what you're going for. For example, if I slapped on the big chorus effect and I put myself in the cathedral, that would give the effect that I'm like a massive choir singing in a huge church. So those are the three effects sections. The point of those are to just, you know, turn your dry signal or whatever you've recorded. They're there to help smooth out the levels, to help... Um, get rid of unwanted frequencies and perhaps boost the frequencies you do want and finally to put you in a cool space and make you sound like you're somewhere else.